Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly connect or add Walmart as a plugin or a tool for your Shopify online store. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And assuming that you guys are already logged into your Shopify account as an administrator, uh, the idea here is we're looking to get access to the Shopify app store. So there are two ways to do that, two ways to get there being uh, you could either uh, click on the search bar right here and type down Walmart, but normally this wouldn't be shown. Uh, this wouldn't show because uh, the Walmart app itself is, isn't natively, uh, natively supported by uh, Shopify's interface. However, there are some workarounds for it. So you could type down Walmart and click on search in Shopify app store, or you could click on apps right here at the very left of the screen. And then uh, you want to click on apps and sales channel. So you'll be redirected to this page here, uh, showing all of your installed applications and plugins for your store. So from here, you want to click on Shopify App Store. Then you want to select um, you want to select Walmart, or I should say, you want to type down Walmart. So the thing about this is uh, Walmart uh, is supported by a couple of different third-party apps here. One of them being AutoDS, where you could uh, use um, Walmart as a supplier or to import uh, some of their products over to your store. Or you could use um, this one right here, uh, said commerce Walmart connector. So either way is fine, but uh, AutoDS is more of a, um, I should say, an all-in-one kind of uh, plugin for your Shopify. So it comes with um, functions to for dropshipping as well as uh, print and demand. And this actually also includes Walmart as one of the suppliers. Or if you guys want a dedicated application, then just go for said commerce Walmart connector. So we're going to click on this one, said commerce, click on install once you're at their store page. And in fact, you'll see right away that you're able to add uh, stuff on Walmart, the only app you will ever need to sell on Walmart. So here we are. So I should say that this one is actually a paid application. However, they do have a free trial. And the idea here is we're basically giving it authorization to, to connect and integrate with our store. So to do that, click on install, and then you would be redirected to this page here, which is kind of like their uh, their collab um, sign up process. So you can see that uh, here's my store ID. So you basically just want to follow the on-screen instructions here by adding your Walmart account and simply hitting connect. And once that's done, you guys are finished. You've successfully connected uh, Walmart as a third-party app or supplier for your Shopify store. So now people can shop on your store and have Walmart as a back catalog for the products. So yeah, um, there you guys have it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.